Hello and welcome everybody to another speed build tutorial. Um, today I want to talk with you about Plop Second Life, which is a very neat, small sculpty creator for Second Life. It has its limits, but within these limits, it's really cool to use. You can find Plop at www.secondplop.com where you can download a Mac and Windows version. Um, the way it works is that you have basically a... Let's make this a new canvas. A canvas on which you can draw and the drawing will be converted automatically into a Second Life sculpt. Limitations are that the sculpt must not have a hole and it cannot be in several parts so it has to be one object in itself um, I want to demonstrate how this works with a beetle um, there is a very nice filter forge filter which is called beetle collection it's um, Filter 6874 on Filter Forge that allows you to create, well, random beetles. Uh, you can see one here. This is a large version I have already created. Now, what we need to do is to save this beetle with transparency included. So, I'm gonna save it as a TIFF on my desktop. Let's call this Beetle. Include transparency needs must be checked. Then I gotta go to my desktop shortly to open the Beetle and save it as a PNG. I can't save it as a PNG because my the Forge version is a standard version, but I can convert it to a preview. All right, and then what we what you do is we drag the beetle PNG into the flop window, and it'll show there where you position it and click on OK, and then it takes a moment while this sculpt is being processed. And you can rotate it and you will see that it looks the same from both sides. This is the way Plop works. It just mirrors the beetle and um, kind of inflates it. So this only works good with very simple objects that kind of look the same all around. Let's say this beetle is alright because most beetles sit on something and so the lower part will kind of sink into the surface and nobody will notice that it's the same all around. Um, when you are satisfied with it, you click on this arrow, which will export the sculpture map named, let's give it a name, I'll just speed it again. Again, it will process it which takes quite a bit depending on your um, graphics card and processor and when it's finished you will find in your documents a folder called Plop Second Live wherein you will find two textures one is the beetle sculpture and the other is the beetle texture beetle sculpture is the sculpt map beetle texture is the according texture for the beetle so let's log into our second live and ha have a look at how it looks in world.
Heroes, you will create a time. Please, that's not so crowded. Object sculpted. We have to upload both the textures from um, the Pop Second Life folder. Drag the sculpt map into the sculpted window and the texture map into textures. And then And there we have our beetle, made with plop, used in Second Life. You will see that the quality of the sculpt depends on the kind of texture you use or the kind of model you want to create. It works best with very simple things like mushrooms, flowers, stuff like that, whereas complicated things with a lot of spikes and such tend to have some problems. So. Nonetheless, it's a fun and nice tool to play with. Thank you very much and see you soon.